Alright, we're gonna figure out how we're gonna just graph our Excel um, requirement for rates of reaction graph. So this is part C here. Um, I typed in information as you would have um, for your data and so I just wanted to show you that I have reaction mixture 1 at room temperature 14 Celsius that's cold and 40 Celsius that's warm and these are the temperatures here in Kelvin. Um, the reaction times, I put average reaction time. so put what your values are and our rates of reaction, put whatever you calculate in. Now I want to show you how to type values. Like say, for example, if you had 6.9 times 10 to the minus 5, you hit on this box, you type 6.9e to the negative 5. That's all you type when you get this value. And if you hover over it, that's um, what comes up as a cal uh, for Excel. It's like a calculator. So, and then um, we're going to go over here. We're going to do 1 over temperature on, um, this is my x-axis and L and K on my y-axis. So I no notice this is flipped in your um, table versus mine. Okay, so to do 1 over temperature, these are my temperature values here. So all I'm going to do is equal 1 over temperature, which is B2 right here. And then once I go um, the, uh, hit enter, the formula is 1 over B2, and then um, that calculates the number on its own. And then you can drag down when it's crossed, select it, and go down. And it will copy the formula over for this box. This is 1 over B3. This one's 1 over B4. Do the same thing here for LNK. You type equals to LN and put the value for the K that you want, which is E, box 2. And then you go down here, and then click on this box here, and then hit the cross and drag it down. So now you have your values for X and Y, so we'll hit select all six values here. We'll hit over here at insert, and then you want to look for a chart. And this is the scatter, scattered and without no, with no lines. So once this pops up over here, um, you go up here on this corner here, and there's quick layout. Go to this one, which is layout number nine. It gives you the equation, so it's like super shortcut. Um, here's our equation that we have. So I like to delete this off and then you can move your equation over here. You don't need the R squared. That's um, something, um, not, that's not the R. Your R is 8.314 in the lab, okay? So just make sure you, you are aware of that. But that's how you get the slope because the slope is going to be, for this case here, is negative 9794.1. Um, hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, make sure um, you ask. Oh, and don't forget, um, you can actually like type your titles here. Like you can say, well, this is graph LNK versus one over temperature. And then you can put your axis in accordingly as well. All right, that's it.